Hey guys, welcome. Yesterday we talked about the Azure Databricks uh, course on Coursera. And today I want to look at the Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate Professional Certificate. So you're an associate professional. Everybody's been talking about this uh, certification for a long time, right? So there's a lot of reviews on YouTube. There's a lot of um, documentation on why you should take the certificate and why you need it right uh, all the uh, cloud providers offer this right you get like aws google and azure offering these certifications and the reason why they're offering these certifications is because they need more clients so they need you to take the certification become uh, an accredited professional for Azure, AWS, or, uh, or GCP, and go to your company and say, I want to work with Azure because I am a professional and I know exactly what I need to do to create the best data engineering pipelines for uh, uh, scalable data science and engineering. So it benefits them, of course, but it benefits you as well because you cannot be a data engineer without any practical experience. And the only way to get practical experience is to first get the certification and then go and search for a job telling that, oh, I know exactly how to use Microsoft Azure and therefore I can be a data engineer for this uh, enterprise. It's very hard as a, um, as a beginner to have experience with uh, in, in data engineering. When it comes to data science, you can have some pet projects that you can play around and do some, uh, some work. But when it comes to engineering, especially when it comes to highly scalable pipelines, uh, where are you going to implement them? Tell me, like, where are you going to implement them if you're not working for a big company? You cannot uh, spend thousands of dollars in your own uh, cloud setup and uh, test those things out. You actually need practical experience in a big organization. And that's why these, uh, these providers are taking a lot of clients in because... They know, look, we're going to offer you everything that you need in order to build pipelines using um, Azure. And then, of course, you can use Data Factory and then use uh, Databricks. You can use Synapse. You can use all of our tools. Just use them and then implement them in your organization or in uh, the organization that uh, you're going to be working for. Of course, they're useful. Everybody says that, oh, you know, are they worth it? Are they not worth it? You don't know. No, they are worth it. They are worth it because this is the, the main way in which you can get exposure to, uh, to proper big data platforms and proper to, to have access to big data to actually create the, the pipelines that you need. So in a way, they're both creating the demand and the offer. You see? Because they, they need first to train us as uh, Azure data engineers and... Uh, uh, GCP engineers and so on and so forth and then everything sorts out for themselves and the same with Databricks the same with all these uh, all these platforms and you kind of need to be uh, accredited in all of them to be honest what happens is that usually for your client you're going to be working with one or the other like I'm working with Azure and I've been working with Azure for for quite a while now for my own projects I work on GCP so I have my uh, my own GCP uh, subscription and I uh, I tackle my own things on GCP but that's just because I I don't handle such big use cases but of course when you work for a, for for a big company Azure is going to be the main the main tool okay and um, now coming to this data engineering associate professional certificate just the fact that they say associate professional is kind of weird but nevertheless okay and they give it a nice name here dp203 it feels very like oh man i can work myself to 204 i can work myself to 205 and i'm going to be better and better whatever um let's uh let's look through it right so what they tell you is that you're going to launch your career in data engineering so master designing and implementing data solutions that use microsoft azure data services of course so you're going to learn the, the the services that are offered by Microsoft, okay, and you're gonna learn architectures that fit perfectly with the solutions that they offer. Now, of course, all these platforms kind of offer similar architectures nowadays. You get this medallion architecture with the bronze, silver, and gold layers, and all of them promote this, and that's perfectly fine. You can implement this architecture regardless of 
cloud service provider. Um, so you're gonna have an applied learning project. I think this is this is very very important because you cannot learn just you know just following a boring course that just walks you through the functionalities like unless you're actually using those uh th 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 those pieces of um of software you're not going to understand anything right you're gonna learn it at, at a theoretical level but in in practice you're not gonna know anything and to be honest if you're gonna work with microsoft azure you're gonna work with two things you're gonna work with data factory and you're gonna work with data data bricks okay so azure data factory and azure data bricks these are the two main tools that you're going to be using uh when uh when when working on azure okay people say that oh, yeah, you need to learn signups and whatnot but nobody uses signups anymore okay and it's it's funny because databricks kind of took over in microsoft's own um let's say uh promotional material but at the same time they also want to promote uh signups analytics but to be honest of course, you, you need to kind of know uh, some basic things, especially for the for, for the professional certificate. But to be honest, uh, normally you're going to be using Databricks anyway. Okay. Let's look at the courses. I'm going to go quickly through the courses because again, there are a lot of YouTube videos that talk about this uh, professional certificate, and I don't want to bore you with um, just just going through these things. Okay. First of all. You're going to need to take all of them, okay? So regardless of whether you like it or not, you're going to have to take all of them just because you're going to have to prepare for the for the certificate for the for the exam, and uh, you're you're going to see here because they have their own study guide for data engineering on Microsoft Azure, okay? So they tell you exactly what they're going to evaluate you on, and um, you're you're going to need to know like how to design and implement data, data storage this is simple develop data pr uh, processing perfectly fine because you need this is the majority of of work that you're going to be doing and uh yeah of course you need, you need to develop batch and streaming uh processes you're going to learn to manage batches and pipelines so you see like data security data storage and data processing very very straightforward these are the topics that you need to cover, and all of them are covered in, in, the, um, in the Coursera Professional Certificate. So, you're going to go through this one. This is, pro this is probably going to be extremely easy for you. I'm, uh, it, it's just giving you a, an overview of, of, the, of the services that they offer. Okay. If we look at the curriculum, where is the syllabus? There you go. Uh, boring, boring, boring. Practice exam. Ah, boring. Services on the Microsoft. You see? Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting here. Then you get data storage in Microsoft Azure. Wait, wait. wait. Check this out, right? So this is the most boring thing. And they have 98 ratings. L let, me, let me check the reviews because this is kind of like... Okay, just five star reviews. This is weird. Like, of course, like it's great overview because they haven't. It's nothing hard. Everybody gives five star reviews whenever something is super easy, you know. Because I, ah, yeah, I, I know it. I, I'm, I'm fine. You know, they give you that extra push. Oh, I went through the first course. It's easy. I can be a data engineer. But like, if we check all the reviews, again, there were some technical issues in practice. Now it takes a. A more marketing than technical approach. Again, it's marketing. You are the client. You are the client. You know, you're both, you know, you're you're both the client, you know, and you need to sell it to other clients. It's a MLM, right? A multi-marketing scheme, right? It's like you need more people to get in, and the more people get in, the more exposure you get. But let's not start on that. Let's move to data storage in Microsoft Azure. Okay, again, uh, of course, less ratings because a lot of people started the first one. They were like, oh man, I, I can't be bothered. It's too boring and whatnot. I'm gonna not take the next ones. I'm, I'm gonna stop this uh, certification. So, but, but still very good ratings, yeah? If we check the reviews again, you're gonna find that there's a lot of positive reviews again, like always featured. But if you always go and check all the reviews, you're you're gonna get a lot of like one star like this. Missing link for sandbox. 
teacher reading exactly the same contents from web pages. But that's the thing. Many of these certifications, so look, both uh, Azure, GCP, and AWS, they have wonderful documentation. The documentation is so uh, detailed that in theory, you can just read the documentation and take the exam. You don't need to go through all of these courses. You don't need to take all of these things. If you just go through the documentation and work on your own project, then you have the experience that you need to take the exam because they already give you the exam study guide. You already know exactly what they're going to um, evaluate you on. Perfect. So keep that in mind. Many times you don't even need to take the certifications from Coursera or from whatever, right? Like any, any sort of uh, course when it comes to cloud services because they have all the documentation that is needed uh, on their website. The only problem is that you don't have a structure. So when you, you, when you start fresh, you don't know exactly where to, where to look at, what to look for. Um, you don't have these uh, architecture patterns. You don't know exactly what you're going to be doing. So it's important to keep that in mind that in the end, uh, a professional certificate from Azure, GCP, AWS, in this case Azure, are relevant because they give you a framework of what you need to study in order to pass. They also give you a framework of the how you're going to be using their tools and how various tools connect with each other and how do you work with a uh, data factory and then with Databricks and whatnot so that you so you have a more targeted approach to learning. Okay. So again, good reviews at the same time. It's always going to be that way. Okay. Then you're going to move on to data integration with Microsoft Azure Data Factory. This one is super important. You need to understand uh, Data Factory properly because you're going to be using it everywhere. Okay. Even if you're not going to use for the full uh, solution, you're still going to use it to ingest uh, data. Okay. So this, um, this Microsoft Azure Data Factory course is super, super useful. Okay. If we go through the reviews, again, beautiful reviews featured. If we go deeper, we're going to find some more, more, let's see, one more one star. No labs, poor test. The delivery of the content is good, although it's just an actor reading verbatim the text in the Microsoft Learn docu documentations. Look, this is exactly, again, I said it again, I'm going to say it again. This is exactly what, it, what is going to happen with all these certifications, whether it's whatever, whatever cloud provider, they're going to read from the documentation they're going to teach you things from the documentation they're going to give you bits of code that you're going to use to create uh streaming processes to create batch processes. they're going to give you everything that you need just so that you use their systems the beautiful thing about this is at least you know you have a, a clear start and end to what you need to learn for a specific uh, section for a specific product that they're offering so again everything is in the documentation guys okay Let's go further down. As you can see, now they're starting with Azure Synapse. Synapse analysis, warehousing, introduction, data engineering with Synapse, operational analysis with Synapse. Okay, so from course four to course seven, in theory, you can skip these because you're not going to use them. Okay, we can go into why people are not using Synapse anymore and why everybody's moving to Azure Databricks, but that's for a different video the, um, the the principle is that you're still going to need to go through them because you need to take the exam so they're going you're going to have questions from this okay but still keep that in mind uh you don't have to worry that much about it and then you move on to microsoft azure databricks for data engineering i have a video on this specific course and why it's super super important this is the main course that you need to follow okay i'll put a link down in the description also for that that course uh, but you have to keep in mind that course eight is super super important the azure data factory and azure databricks these are the two main courses that you need to to look at right and of course the the data lake the gen 2 storage and streaming solution and then of course preparation so to be honest from all of these things from everything here course two course three course eight course nine and course 10. These are the main courses that you need to look at. These are the main courses that you need to focus on. 
Everything else is either introductory or something that you're not going to use. So this is my honest review of Microsoft Azure Data Engineering Associate DP203 Professional Certificate. Did you guys take this? How did you find it? Like, did you, did, did you enjoy these, uh, these courses? I'm also going to put a link down in the description for this, um, for this particular uh, certification because I would love it if you plan on taking it to follow this link. It's an affiliate link. And of course, I'm going to get a commission. I'm going to buy myself half, half a cup of coffee if you take any Coursera course by following the links in the description. They would really, really help me out also to create more videos like this and keep it real with you guys when it comes to learning data science and data engineering. So thank you so much for your support when it comes to the channel. Also, if you like this type of content, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my content. I'll see you in the next one.